Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss on how you are going to recognize potential authorship problem. And uh, this can be, you know, you can say the sign that might indicate authorship problem. So this is available at COPE, Committee on Publication Ethics. And um, this is again part of uh, Research and Publication Ethics. Uh, the code is CPRPE. And uh, this is one of the mandatory coursework uh, that UGC has uh, mandated for the research scholar. They need to complete it in their uh, pre-registration coursework time. And uh, I have already uploaded a few videos of module 1 and 2 on uh, research and publication ethics. Uh, you can view uh, those playlists as well. Uh, so let's start. So this is where you know we'll try to understand what are the different signs uh, of uh, let's say potential authorship problem. So clockwise manner will uh, let's say we'll try to understand the let's say this is the first one where you know let's say the author has taken a help of, of a language editing service and uh, in their manuscript you know the language that is being used and then the cover letter the uh, the language being is being used may not match and that that can be early sign for the uh, reviewer or for the editor or the associate editor or the assigned editor to to you know get it clarified with the author then only um, they should be able to proceed the uh, manuscript for further you know reviewing and uh, let's say for you know publication and uh, let's say the second one where in the corresponding author is unable to respond to the reviewer comment so that can also be a sign you know uh, uh, that uh, can lead to authorship problem later on or you know you can think that you know if the uh, corresponding author is not able to respond uh, properly that means he or she is not knowing what has been done in that particular work or uh, that particular work uh, how that is being drafted and uh, the manuscript was drafted and or let's say revised by someone not on the author list or acknowledged so check on the word document uh, properties or, or tracking uh, if being used and the command function to bear in mind that there are uh, that may not be any you know uh, innocent kind of explanation for that so that also you can uh, you can do to find out uh, sort of you know um, um, sign or that can lead to uh, authorship problem and uh, tracking in manuscript shows that the author have been uh, added or removed so that is uh, also you have to keep in mind that sometimes uh, they do uh, and with uh, sort of you know explanation and with proper way so uh, th that is possible so bear in mind that there may not be you know legitimate reason for 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 that particular you know changes so again uh, we have here is um, impossibly um, prolific author is being added um, that means uh, let's say somebody you know for example head of the department or senior author who is not um, you know up on that field and uh, easily it can be uh, distinguished or you know early phase they can able to say uh, th that it is kind of a gift authorship kind of thing so that also uh, can lead to authorship problem if a you know um, joint decision has not been taken uh, you know while submitting the work then the authorship changes without notification during the revision stages also so that can be a case and then several you know similar article have been published under different author name or alliances so that that is a case where this may be detected um, by an online search and the plagiarism check so that also need to be avoided and um, then let's say uh, a similarity check shows that you know the work that uh, being uh, being you know presented is uh, from a thesis and the original author is missing is not listed in that particular manuscript so uh, that that can also lead to authorship problem later on you know uh, the original author might uh, you know reach uh, to the uh, to the editor or uh, to claim that the work is his or her and uh, obviously the conflict will come so that to be avoided or better you should include um, uh, his or her name while submitting the manuscript then questionable role of contributor for example it appeared that uh, one uh, draft uh, someone is drafted and uh, you know 
uh, analyze that particular work so uh, th those sort of thing that already you know i was talking about uh, the authors kind of editing service people that uh, take help and uh, that is where they do not acknowledge or you know um, because uh, those are kind of uh, ghost or author you know that also we'll discuss in the next video uh, how you can able to find out uh, uh, you know um, let's say gifted or ghost author and um, able to you know recognize a sort of uh, conflict or problem that might arise due to that then un uh, feasibly long or short author lists for example a simple case report with the dozen of or, you know author or a randomized trial with single author so that can also be a case of authorship problem and uh, the unspecified uh, role uh, in the acknowledgement individual tank without a specific contribution so that can also uh, a sign or a hint uh, that uh, you know he or she is not included in the authorship list uh, though they have contributed uh, to that work or let's say um, in a other way um, around uh, that uh, you know there is something you know hidden fact to that so that also need to be avoided or you know uh, that is a sign for the editor to to not to process uh, you know um, process that work without a certain clarification so this is what uh, you know both way uh, a researcher also need to know wh wh what sort of you know problem that are there or uh, related to author authorship so that they can able to avoid that one with you know proper uh, kind of uh, in a ethical way and uh, it is kind of for the reviewer uh, reviewer and the editor also to know what uh, they are looking at and uh, what if those sort of thing is happening or it, it is kind of uh, seen during the process or during the reviewing or during you know handling that particular manuscript then this should also take certain action before you know processing that particular uh, manuscript because uh, then they can save certain time of the review then let's say we have uh, the name or the author list that uh, that is known from the unrelated research area that can include uh, indicate the uh, guest authorship which i was talking about then uh, let's say uh, you know uh, if the author is showing that that is the industry funded uh, study and there is no author from the sponsor industry so that is again uh, this may be uh, legitimate but may also mean deserving author uh, might have been omitted so uh, the reviewing the original protocol kind of may help to determine the role of the employees so that also uh, need to be taken into consideration so these are different you know a sign uh, that that can uh, that can help to identify uh, authorship problem at the early stage or even uh, you know at the later stage also so there is again another part of it which is the best practice to minimize the authorship problem so while you go for submission adopt uh, policies that allow transparency around who contributed the submitted work and at what capacity that sort of you know transparency has to be there then facilitate all kind of encourage you know a kind of awareness of of a uh, kind of emerging standard like orchid and credit so orchid is uh, like mostly used and uh, being uh, preferably you know uh, used uh, by the author so that uh, while they go for submission you know general also they ask so they can register via orchid also and uh, with orchid they can able to track the past record of the you know researcher and it will help uh, the researcher as well to you know include or uh, you know once the work has been published and it will be automatically included in their orchid record and that is the kind of uh, uh, you can say a research profile which uh, which will help to showcase as well as to, um, to validate you know um, if we talk about the editor role then the behavior so check uh, with uh, unusual pattern of behavior uh, which may suggest authorship problem so these are uh, kind of the best practices um, that um, towards minimizing the authorship problem so these are the different you know this this is the report and these are the different um, reading material if you can refer to this particular document i will um, 
I will keep a hyperlink at uh, the description sec section also so you can refer the other uh, flow chart or infographics. So this is again a infographics of uh, towards you know um, uh, finding out uh, authorship problem or s sign or or kind of uh, early indication which uh, which can show us the authorship problem so stay tuned i will come up with uh, a similar video and uh, we'll cover this uh, research and publication ethics so, um, uh, related content so thank you for watching again and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and uh, stay tuned <laughs>